hello hello it's thursday and i have been looking forward to today all week because for some reason for this major they decided to have like a really long break like three days for upper bracket people so i haven't seen bp play since like sunday or saturday something very far so today we have two upper bracket matches that are going to be super good best teams playing anyways i have been doing a pretty decent job cooking um in the sense that i feel like my mentality has shifted where basically i don't spontaneously think of buying out whenever i do feel like eating something or whether it's in regards to a meal i just automatically think like oh what do i have at home that i can make to eat and it has been working out really well because i have managed to keep my eating out money spending pretty low this month. Anyways, so today it's just funny how I always plan everything down specifically. So for today, the matches start at 8 p.m. So I was thinking, <laughs> I always have this like really strong desire to eat something delicious while I watch the game. It's really weird, I know. I always try to coordinate it like that. Well, uh, for special occasions, but Today, VP is playing the second best of three, so I'll just do this for the first one. But I have been wanting to eat fried rice, specifically Yangzhou Cao Fan. And there is a place nearby my work that sells it that I've had before and it was pretty good. So I want to get it again for the matches tonight. I was planning like, I'm gonna go into work a little bit later, go in from 11, leave at seven, go pick up my fried rice. And by the time I get home, It'll be nearly time for the games and then I can try to eat it while watching. That is my plan for today. I will be at the office a little bit later than usual, but by the time it's 7 o'clock, hopefully there will be much less people on the road, so that will be a good thing. So here, I have some Italian seasoned turkey. I think that's what it said on the package. I have squash and I have broccoli and it's good. I like it. My the bro broccoli is always so good to me. Oh my god. Ser seriously? I hate it. Sometimes I'm just hungry and I want to eat and swallow fast and then I get hiccups. I hate hiccups so much. God, I am finally home. Getting food took me so much longer. This is kind of why I really hate physically going to the store or the restaurant, sorry, to pick up my food because there's always so much problems like parking or just like the restaurant turned out to be closed, the one that I originally wanted to go to. So I had to choose an alternative. I decided to do hot pot nearby. So I have that here. Plus driving in California, San Diego, just so awful because People here don't respect the rules of the road where basically the left lane should be the passing lane, right? But there are so many people just chilling in the left lane and it ends up being middle lanes being passing lane and it kind of frustrated. Anyways, okay, I'm done complaining. My food is here. Wow, they actually... Wow, they straight up put it... They just straight up put it in this and they didn't protect the lid from preventing the liquid contents from coming out. I'm so shocked. That's not safe at all, but uh, this still looks and smells delicious. I don't know if you can see, I can't tilt it or the soup is gonna come out, but this is a delicious alternative. Goodness. Um, so I got some rice, which is very nice to have. I haven't had white rice in a very long time, so um, I guess I can eat that with whatever next, whatever I cook next. So since the bubble tea is right near where the food was, I decided to get some. But fear not, I'm getting it less nowadays. Anyways, um. So right now, I think that they're probably doing introductions where like the panel is talking, the host is talking, all of that stuff, stuff I don't really care to listen to. So another thing that's very cool is um, the Long Jean FEI World Cup jumping for horses is actually in Las Vegas this weekend. So it's streaming on YouTube right now and I have that up. 
And uh, Shane is actually in Vegas right now, and I told him about it, but I doubt he's going to go check out this, this event, especially not when Dota is going on. He's going to be watching the tournament as well. So, yes, those two upcoming matches I am very stoked about, and that was the whole reason I got this food. I know, I know I'm weird where... I honestly really did plan all of this out. I was like going into work later, leave work, go pick up my food, and by the time I get home, I'll have just enough time to like feed Riley, sort her out, and then it'll be drafting time. So I got home definitely later than expected, but I think it's fine. But now I will kind of clean this up. There's like soup all along the sides. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, never mind. I was like, oh my god, there's orange. It better not be spicy. Let me show you. So, delicious hot pot. I know it doesn't show all the ingredients in there, but they tend to put a lot of cabbage, I believe. They, t they definitely have a lot of vegetables in here, which I really like, but it has beef. I don't know what this thing is. I'm really bad at food names, so there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't actually know the name of, like this thing. Wait, that might actually just be a vegetable. <laughs> I'm stupid. There's tofu right there. But there's just a lot of stuff in here and it's super, super delicious. So I'm going to relocate to the living room. Hi, puppies. So I have my little setup here. Here is the Longines FEI World Cup Jumping Championship. I follow Kaylee Cuoco from Big Bang Theory on Instagram, and she is at this event. But yeah, I'm probably going to leave this up on the side, maybe in between the Dota matches. I don't know how long this event is going on for tonight, but I'll just have it on the side, and hopefully I'll get to see Kaylee or Carl do their run. My family is watching with me. How cute is this? Sammy doesn't care for it. Alright, go LGD! LGD lost the first match so far and they are drafting the second game. Um, their draft for the first match definitely didn't work out like they thought. They were trying to draft around countering one of the carries that Team Secret chose. That is kind of ridiculous right now. He's getting picked a lot, but um, yeah, man, I really, really, LGD, they have to come back from this. But in the meantime, as usual, I am still reading this. I am nearly done though, almost done. And really, this is a great book. I'm really liking it. I would zoom in even further on his little face. Oh, hi. Hello. I haven't seen my boys in a couple days. Let's go, let's go. If they win, I get to sleep early. More like if they win, I get to sleep on time. Hell yes, VP won game one and it is nearly midnight right now. I haven't done my workout yet. So usually in between games, I say there's usually, I don't know, 30 minutes. Maybe that's a little long. 20 minutes at least, so I should be able to get in a nice workout, um, high intensity. It has been a great night. Hello. Ah, I am going back to the office. Today, we have a Thanksgiving party and welcoming thing in my manager's group for somebody new that joined our team. So that is gonna be at 1.30, it's 12.40 right now. Last night was amazing, VP 1-2-0. Unfortunately, LGD lost, so they are in the lower bracket. They are playing first today. Today is actually another very, very, very exciting day of the tournament because great matches all around. And actually, I'm really happy about this tournament because it just feels like the last few teams 
that are remaining are all really good and entertaining to watch. So the next few days of the tournament will be amazing. I am really tired. So <laughs> I tend to feel this way a lot whenever the tournaments are at bad times. Well, it's like half bad time and then half good, but yeah, these past few days have been tough because I have been trying my hardest to watch every single match that I really want to. So yesterday was a full day, three best of threes that I really wanted to watch and that was so hard because I was up early for a meeting, so I was up at 7 a.m. and I was, on, I was awake until like 6.30. And then by then, it was the third match of BP Secret that was just starting and I was like, oh, since I watched the first two, I really should try to fit in the third, but I just couldn't anymore. I felt so awful. I was exhausted. My eyes were like burning, I don't know, from being so tired and being open so much and watching stuff. I slept at like 6 and I woke up at 12, so I only got 6 hours of sleep. I'll probably <sighs> try to not. I'll probably try to nap in a couple hours, but it kind of sucks. I feel really dead. Tonight is the final day of the event, so it's starting at 7 p.m. There's going to be one best of three, and then they're going to take a break, and then they're going to start the grand finals, best of five. So I need to be rested for that because I really, really would like to watch all of the finals. Yesterday, I didn't really get my workout in because it was... Yesterday was such a clusterfuck of a day, it felt like, because... It's Friday, right, which is good, and I had my work Thanksgiving party thing. So we went to that around 1.30, and I actually stayed there pretty freaking long. I stayed there until 5.30, but honestly, by that time, I was like kind of frustrated because going to this Thanksgiving party essentially meant that I would sit through really awful traffic because it's further north, basically in the opposite direction of my house. So when I wanted to leave, it was like an hour of traffic and there was no way for me to avoid that unless I stayed in that area until close to seven o'clock, which I was not going to do. That's two hours of what the fuck am I gonna do? So I drove home at 5.30ish. I got home around 6.15. It definitely took close to, to an hour though. And by the time I got home, I was like, I need to nap before these games because I had a full night of Dota to watch. So I slept and I woke up at eight. So that makes sense for why I'm so f exhausted and feeling garbage. <laughs> before I start my workout though, I kind of wanted to talk about something really quick because this is an aspect of my life that does not happen very often basically anything social. So I kind of wanted to talk about it because whatever, let's just talk. So when I first moved here, so boxing is something that I have always been kind of interested in because I like the idea of doing it for fitness and cardio and it looks like a lot of fun. So when I was living at my last apartment, I decided to try out some boxing with a personal trainer type deal. So I, signed up for some classes at the local boxing gym and my trainer was somebody that kind of eventually showed interest in me but nothing really ever happened with that because to me he kind of showed that he was a flaky person and I really despise that trait. Genuinely I don't think I can actually respect anybody that is flaky because I just hate that trait so much. So he showed an instance of that once or twice. I'd say that the flakiness kind of goes along with him not being communicative and communication is very important to me. So if people kind of just stop responding to something when they've clearly seen your message, then I start to dismiss them as a person because they're not someone I can take seriously if they're not gonna be responding to your messages. So he showed instances of both of those. And so after that time, even though he was kind of someone that seemed like he was someone I could talk to decently well and get along with, I know these are things that I find important in a person. 
And if he shows the opposite of that, then there is no reason for me to spend my time on him. So basically after that time, I, you know, just didn't really care about him anymore. I stopped interacting with him much. A couple months ago when I said that I wanted to do personal training again, I actually contacted him because he's like the only trainer I know around here. And I feel like his rates are probably on the lower side compared to most people. So I started up personal training with him again. And I kind of just remembered the first day I went, I was like, wow, he's actually, you know, tall, he's fit. Tall is actually a trait that I find very attractive. So kind of probably just seeing his height and the fact that he's very ripped <laughs> made me think, oh wow, he's actually kind of cute. I decided to try to go out of my comfort zone, which is being a very passive person. I'm a very passive person. So I decided to kind of reach out to him and ask if he wanted to get a drink or something. And then he told me that he was actually in a relationship and he said that it wouldn't be a big deal to meet up even though he was in one because that was how I responded. I was like, oh, if you're in a relationship and it's not comfortable for you to do, that's fine. But he said, no, it's okay. But nothing ever happened because he's super like, he just really shitty to t communicate with. I am not gonna put in extra effort to try to make a hangout happen if the other person is just very hands off. So nothing ever happened with that. And eventually I did quit personal training because of the cost. Recently he messaged me and we were kind of talking about, I don't know, philosophical stuff. And he kind of mentioned that his relationship ended and then towards the end of the conversation he was like oh i have to go to bed but we should meet up or something and i was just like oh yeah sure um i think my mentality with that was always i've always been kind of curious to see what he would be like in a non-business setting because i've only ever seen him for personal training so to see him in a context outside of that i was always curious about it so when i responded saying yeah sure let's do that that's what I was thinking. But then recently, the past few days, I have just been realizing a little more and it's something that I knew all along, but I'm definitely happy that I'm this clear about all of this stuff so I don't have to deal with extra stress from a person that is clearly incompatible with me. So I've just been thinking about it more with him and it's just, it makes no sense for me to see him at all because he has clearly shown traits that I don't really like in a person. That's not to say he's a bad person. I'm just saying that I have my preferences for people. I like it when they communicate well. They're easy to communicate with in the sense that I will feel confident that I'm gonna get a response from them in a reasonable amount of time. So that's just like, being reliable. If I am wondering if I'm ever going to hear from him within the next day or two, that just feels kind of pointless to me because then I feel like I'm just not going to even care about them as a person because I'm not certain about them. So just having those traits and feeling flaky and stuff and we actually have nothing in common. I don't think we have anything in common. He doesn't game, he doesn't know anything about gaming, he doesn't know anything about esports, and that is a really, really big part of my life that I think is mandatory, mandatory in a boyfriend. I need to be able to talk to them about stuff like Dota. Or, yeah, I think I need, I definitely think I need that because I love pro Dota so much, so, if they're just someone that doesn't know shit and I can't talk to them about strategy or if I can't talk to them about like this amazing play that was made, then I don't feel like I will be able to connect well with them. So the fact that he has none of that makes it so there is really no reason for me to get to know him better or even spend any time with him. We uh, kind of vaguely discussed maybe meeting up today and I saw that he messaged me earlier, but I just don't want to do this anymore because I have already noticed like little bits of me feeling frustrated 
just from like interacting with him and that already shows that it's just not gonna happen it shouldn't happen i'm just glad that i know to make decisions like this instead of just being like oh this is a person and since i'm an introvert maybe i should just go and see what it's like to spend time with him but it's good to know what you like and don't like and to know where you feel you know your time is spent best in the past i have always thought about how in our day and age we really dodge confrontation in a sense so you hear all the time about how like people just cut off contact right they just stop replying they just stop messaging you and i always found that to be a little bit cowardly because you just avoid instead of telling them why you're doing it so i've always felt like i would like to be that type of person who would not let the other person wonder and would just tell them why i don't want to talk to them anymore but I might be changing my mind about that because I feel like it's not my job to voluntarily tell them why I'm not talking to them anymore. Maybe it's better if they ask me first. So if they ever ask me, I would definitely be open to telling them exactly why, which is actually something that happened with the guy that I met on Steam from Dota. I told him, I was like, you know what, I don't really want to talk to you anymore. And he asked me why, and I did tell him why. So in those situations, that is totally fine. But in this one, I just don't feel like spending the time to craft a response that's like, doesn't hurt their feelings too much or worries about maybe if they're sensitive or any of that. It's just effort that I don't want to do. So sometimes being a ghoster though, just doesn't feel good, but I do not have the energy to deal with people like that. So my solution is always to just keep them out. <laughs> um, I think for certain life situations, that mentality of being like, oh, I don't like this, so I'm going to avoid it or change it is actually good, usually. But sometimes I might be too focused on making sure every aspect of my life is perfect. So for example, this house, Lately, the past month or so, I have been a little bit agitated about living here because there's other people on the property. And when he first advertised this space, I don't think I was aware of that until I arrived and then saw the place and I liked it. But then I found out that the landlord lives in the back and he also has an extra studio where somebody else lives. So sometimes I have to deal with noise like construction. Some mornings I get woken up at eight in the morning from banging or there's other small aspects like sometimes people park in the driveway and then I just have to deal with who the fuck's car is this and I need to get them to move it if I want to ride. I don't want anybody else on the property with me. Anywhere I'm living, if a neighbor 100 feet away is too close, somebody on the same property is just as bad. So um, lately I've just been feeling kind of like I don't really like living here anymore so I should move when it's done so the problem with that is I feel like it's really dependent on my job so next year I was actually really really hoping to move further out to like Ramona or Alpine or those other places that I really enjoy around here but I think that is not the best idea unless I manage to get permission from my manager to work from home a couple days a week like maybe two days a week i think it would have to be minimum two days a week before i decide to move out there like that because ramona i've realized that i actually really really like ramona but it's 45 minutes away so that would ruin my ability to come out for lunch and it, it would just be a long commute so both of those are things that i tend to value very highly i don't want to be on the road during rush hour very often ever so 45 minutes is rough, but I feel like it might be worthwhile if I get to work from home a couple days a week. So I'm not driving to work five days a week. Those are just important things that I need to consider. So this is kind of one of those situations where I am kind of letting those things linger in my mind too much, where I'm feeling frustrated and agitated and unhappy about the living situation. Whereas when that stuff isn't happening, it's actually really not that bad living here. So 
I need to kind of keep my priorities in check in terms of like not being too hasty whenever something upsets me like that. I'm still feeling a little exhausted. So I am going to do whatever little that I can and then take a nap before the final day of Dota to major. But I will say that this major has been incredible. There have been so many good games and some of these teams are playing at really, really high levels. So I am really excited for tonight. But for now, I need to re-energize myself.